Hey everyone, Dalton Grados here with Grados Capital, coming to you with some huge market news and updates. This is not clickbait. It's unbelievable. Today is Monday, September 21st, 2020, and we're already off to quite a week in the stock market. So the futures were looking like we were pointing upwards. We were looking bullish for heading into this week. And then news dropped of the major banks being involved in over $2 trillion of illicit funds, funds being used for laundering and other criminal activity between 1999 and 2017. What is going on? <laughs> I mean, just this year, 2020, it's like we just keep turning up the heat with everything going on. You know, obviously there's the, been the pandemic, which you may have your own beliefs of as far as, uh, you know, what's been the driving forces behind this pandemic. Uh, we have obviously riots and things going on in the streets. We have an election coming up as if the election couldn't get any crazier. Now we have Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, passing away and that's just threw a wrench in the whole thing. The markets are absolutely insane. Now we have this news coming out about the banks, $2 trillion of criminal activity over a period of 18 years. And today at Market Open, we were expecting things to just crater, and now it's about 1 p.m. in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time. And it looks like we dipped a little bit this morning and we might be recovering a little bit as far as just what the charts look like. I don't know if I wanna trust it or not, other news came through of the Nikola CEO. Uh, basically, Nikola was fake. Uh, I never played them. I thought it was just a bunch of hype, and I was right. But uh, yeah, so Nikola is in huge, huge trouble. There is news on Twitter about their CEO being arrested. Turns out he's not being arrested. There's just a whole bunch of tomfoolery going on. Tesla also has their battery day tomorrow. That's highly, highly anticipated. So we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll go through the roof or not. Who knows? You could have another uh, something similar to the window breaking at Tesla's last uh, event where they unveiled the pickup truck and all of a sudden uh, everyone sells their Tesla shares. <laughs> Bottom line is if you are watching this video in 2020 and you are living through everything going on right now it's unbelievable and I don't say that to cause anxiety or fear in you I say that with almost an attitude of like just stepping back and just being amused at this world that we are existing in so what's gonna happen in the market this week I don't know I guess we'll see I think Tesla battery day unless something unexpected happens should be very great for Tesla. Um, I personally haven't played Tesla. There's tons of money to be made, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just a little bit too volatile for my liking and the options are a bit expensive for my portfolio currently to be able to take a position with proper risk management. Obviously, we have a ton of news going on right now, especially with the banks, that's huge. And we just have to see how the market digests it because sometimes you have huge news and the market just doesn't care. Now from a technical analysis standpoint, I think we're actually at a critical spot right now in the overall market, S&P 500 and NASDAQ. I went back on the daily charts and did some analysis using the Elliott waves. And it looks to me that we're right in wave four of what would be an Elliott wave on the daily chart on a bigger trend. And speaking just specifically from a technical standpoint, we could bounce from here into wave five, or if we break below, we could see quite a sell off. So yeah, it should be an interesting week. Personally, as far as trading goes, I am mostly hands off and playing very, very light. You're either gonna be scalping or buying in some very long-term positions because things are just so uncertain right now. Again, the only thing worse than not making money is losing money. So be careful, 
and stay tuned for more updates. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking, what you're seeing in the markets, and let's get better together, guys. See you next time.